This evening, VP Jagdeo urges reporting of corruption in government contract. Two acquitted in 2021 Gold Heist case due to lack of evidence. Ghana Fire Service collaborates with other organizations to fight rising grass fire issues. In the region, Haiti refuses to open key border crossing with Dominican Republic. And internationally, teacher killed in France school study. Welcome to this broadcast of Channel 2's Headline News Update for October 13, 2023. I am Baby Bacchus. Thank you for joining us. First up, the Ghana Fire Service has partnered with other agencies to establish a well-structured strategy to address and manage the wildfire surge, often called grass fires. Speaking to the media on the sidelines of an event on Thursday, Fire Chief Officer Acting Gregory Wickham confirmed that there has been an increase in these types of fires. We would have seen a great increase in the number of grass fires or what we call wildfires. And so it has its impact. But the fire department, along with other agencies, we have a plan in place to deal with those um, occurrences. Wickham added that leaving grass fires or garbage fires unattended is not wise since it can get out of control. He said the possibility of it spreading is much higher during the dry season. And since Guyana is experiencing the El Nino weather pattern, citizens must take precautions. If you're going to use fire as a means to get rid of waste, then you must be able to supervise it. For those in the backlands or in the interior locations where you have those fires, you must be able to do what we call trenching in order to stop fire spread. Speaking on challenges firefighters face, Wickham relayed that, in some instances, accessibility poses a challenge when battling grass fires. He also urged public members to maintain and preserve water sources so they can be helpful in the event of a fire. Citizens are encouraged to practice fire safety since it is everyone's business. And if you see a suspicious fire or smoke, call 912. In other news, Vice President Dr. Barry Chagdio has issued a call for the immediate reporting of corrupt practices involving public officials and contractors in government contracts. Acknowledging the potential for corruption amid the large volume of government projects awarded, Jagdio emphasized the administration's commitment to exposing and combating it. He cited an incident earlier in the week where an engineer attempted to extort money from a contractor. You're talking about maybe six, seven thousand contracts on the implementation now. We can't know if a clerk of work on a a project in Blackbush Polder or somewhere else is asking the contractor for money. But the contractors have to understand that if they, they, they comply with this, they're not only breaching the system, they're doing something illegal. They're, they should be, they should contact us, like some are doing this. Jaglio stressed that despite the challenges of tracking such incidents, the government is open to investigating all reports of corruption. He encouraged contractors to report any unethical requests, emphasizing that compliance would breach contracts and entail illegal activities. Jaglio also urged the public not to use middlemen or negotiators, promising house lots emphasizing the importance of reporting such activities promptly for potential sting operations. Delroy Jackson and Pion Lee accused in the 2021 multi-million dollar goal heist at Wallinson Enterprise have been acquitted due to insufficient evidence when they appeared at the George Young Magistrates Court on Thursday, October 12, 2023. The duo was on trial for robbing Wallinson's Enterprise of $38 million in local currency and $20 million of raw gold on August 5, 2021. The prosecution failed to establish a case against the defendants and Magistrate Rondell Weaver upheld their attorney's submission. The court criticized the prosecution's handling of the case, citing delays and the selective presentation of witnesses. Two other accused individuals, Dequan King and former Guyana Defense Force Sergeant, Keon King had confessed to the crime earlier and were sentenced to prison. The gold heist was captured on CCTV cameras, leading to the recovery of a significant amount of money from one of the accused's backyard. Stick around when we return. Individuals who damage state ICT infrastructure will be held accountable. And Ministry of Health unveils comprehensive eight-year plan for expanding mental health services. Oh, 
gosh, was this me son can read our spell? Stop! Zero out of twenty. This is why I can do here. Let's start improving your child grades today. Register for our primary or nursery department. Hidden treasures are located at 204 East Half Charlotte Street between Camp and Alexander. Or contact us at 6490373. I don't call them no. Hidden treasures, discovering gems and young minds. When you need money and you gotta get it fast. Creative Jewelry and Pawn Shop is the place for that confidential transaction in a quiet and secure location. You'll get the highest value per penny weight for your gold and also enjoy the lowest interest rates and longest payback period too. Yes, for that instant transaction to solve a pressing financial problem. That Creative Jewelry and Pawn Shop, 4 to 6 Boyle Place, that's between the Ministry of Housing on Brick Dam and White Castle Fish Shop, be your first and only choice. Creative Jewelry and Pawn Shop, safe and sound, solid and secure, always there for you. Telephone 231-7878 and 223-8955. Chinese noodles with peppies, chow mein, chicken fritters, and spice cake. For the noodles, all of these will be using peppies, black pepper, kasri, Chinese sauce, soy sauce, garlic sauce, paprika, Chinese seasoning, chow mein seasoning, white spice, and our purpose seasoning. Next, this chicken that we marinate it, soak for all you want to know nothing with peppies, green seasoning, miracle seasoning, pepper sauce, chicken seasoning, paprika, garlic powder, dark seasoning, black pepper, onion powder, and ginger powder, and document clarity flour, and then this butter we make with this quick piece powder, and we fry, I mean, boil in oil. We serve with peppies, barbecue sauce. Radical went to the supermarket, and she proper buy up enough, enough things. She feels she alone can cook, but she wrote the name wrong. He shaped like a guy in a mop. Peppies <laughs> has a wide range of ingredients ingredients available at supermarkets nationwide. Peppies, we put the pep back into your kitchen. Good, good girl, forget things. Oh, Who's the problem, Granny? I want money for bar for doing surgery. I was dancing and I fall and fractured my hip. If you need some quick money, you should check Lenders Jewelry and Pawn Shop. Lenders Jewelry and Pawn Shop, lot 238 South Road, Border, Georgetown. Get jewelry made to order in just 72 hours. We also accept vehicles. Lenders, best rates, longest payback period. Boys, I get through. Plus, I could dance again. <laughs> Lenders Jewelry and Pawn Shop. Welcome back. The National Data Management Authority is taking a firm stance to protect the state's ICT assets. They have stated that individuals responsible for accidentally or deliberately damaging state-owned ICT infrastructure will be liable for the complete repair and replacement costs. Vehicular accidents causing significant damage to poles and ICT equipment, part of the Safe Country project, have risen in regions 3 and 4 over the last four months. The Guyana Police Force has identified those responsible who will now face charges under the Guyanese laws. Moreover, these individuals will be financially responsible for repairing or replacing the damaged assets. To avoid these consequences, road users are urged to respect the road and prioritize road safety by practicing the five C's, care, caution, consideration, common sense, and courtesy. In other news, the Ministry of Health is developing an extensive eight-year plan to expand mental health services in the country. This comprehensive plan covering 2023 to 2030 aims to involve everyone nationwide. Mental health services has been decentralized, reaching health centers and regional hospitals with professionals like counselors and psychiatrists stationed nationwide. A mental health website 
mentalhealth.gov.gy has been launched allowing individuals to access online counseling. Efforts are underway to extend the counseling service from 8 hours daily to a 24 hours format. The government is also committed to training more individuals in the field. The passage of the Mental Health Protection and Promotion Bill in 2022 further supports efficient mental health services by incorporating them into the primary health care system and extending services through telemedicine. You can also access the Mental Health Hotline at 223-0001 or 223-0009. Don't go away after the break. Amazon droughts stranded boats and dead fish and teacher killed in France school stabbing. and a fall and fracture my hip. If you need some quick money, you should check Lenders Jewelry and Pawn Shop. Lenders Jewelry and Pawn Shop, Lot 238 South Road, Border, Georgetown. Get jewelry made to order in just 72 hours. We also accept vehicles. Lenders, best rates, longest payback period. Boys, I get through. Plus, I could dance again. <laughs> Lenders Jewelry and Pawn Shop. Hello, my fellow TikTok followers. He is credit. And today, all we will be making Chinese noodles with peppies, chow mein, chicken fritters, and spice cake. For the noodles, all of these will be using peppies, black pepper, casserole, Chinese sauce, soy sauce, garlic sauce, paprika, Chinese seasoning, chow mein seasoning, white spice, and our purpose. Season. Next, this chicken that we marinate it, soak for all you want to know nothing with peppers, green seasoning, miracle seasoning, pepper sauce, chicken seasoning, paprika, garlic powder, dark seasoning, black pepper, onion powder, and ginger powder, and duck and platinum flour, and then this butter we make with this quick piece powder, and we fry, I mean, boil in oil. We serve with peppers, barbecue sauce. Radical went to the supermarket and she proper buy up nothing of things. She feels she alone can cook, but she wrote the name wrong. He shaped like a guy in a mop. Peppers <laughs> has a wide range of ingredients available at supermarkets nationwide. Peppies. We put the pep back into your kitchen. Smart Minds Educational Institute offering preschool, nursery, and primary levels. Finally, a school that is every parent's dream. Located at 69 Crow Street. Offering academic excellence. Trained, qualified teachers. Small class sizes. Personalized gear. And one-to-one -one attention for your little ones. At Smart Minds, register for full-time or evening classes. Daily practice pass exam papers for proficiency at the grade 2, 4, and 6 assessment. And CXE exam preparedness. Or join our Becca Phonics reading and writing program. So if your child is for preschool, nursery, or primary level, come to Smart Mind, located at 69 Earl Street, or call 231-4885 or 600-9229 to enroll now. When you need money, and you gotta get it fast, Creative Jewelry and Pawn Shop is the place for that confidential transaction in a quiet and secure location. You'll get the highest value per penny weight for your gold and also enjoy the lowest interest rates and longest payback period too. Yes, for that instant transaction to solve a pressing financial problem. That Creative Jewelry and Pawn Shop, 46 Boyle Place, that's between the Ministry of Housing on Brick Dam and White Castle Fish Shop, be your first and only choice. Creative Jewelry and Pawn Shop, safe and sound, solid and secure, always there for you. Telephone 231-7878 and 223-8955. Welcome back. Now we take a look at what's happening in the region and around the world. In a concerning turn of events, Haiti has decided not to reopen a vital commercial border crossing shared with the Dominican Republic, further aggravating a diplomatic crisis centered around the construction of a canal on Haiti's soil. 
Dominican Republic's President Luis Albandazar has closed all borders, including the crucial crossing in Dejabon, for almost a month in protest against the canal's construction. He argued that the project violated a treaty and would deprive Dominican farmers of essential water resources. Haiti contends that the canal is urgently needed due to severe drought and asserts its right to build it. While Albender's government partially reopened borders, including the Deja Bond crossing, Haiti did not reciprocate the gesture at its nearby gate ornament. The Dominican Republic allowed limited trade but maintained bans on Haitians entering for work, school, tourism, or medical purposes, as well as on issuing visas to Haitian citizens. Haiti's decision not to reopen its borders stands until an apology is offered by the Dominican side. This is according to Moïse Charles Pierre, a delegate for Haiti's northeastern region. Meanwhile, the border gates at Elisa Pina and Independencia have resumed operations on both sides, providing a glimmer of hope amid its diplomatic standoff. In the Brazilian Amazon, a severe drought intensified by climate change and the El Nino weather phenomenon is wreaking havoc. The diminished rainfall in the northern Amazon, a consequence of these factors, has led to nearby record low river levels, disrupting transportation, isolating communities, and causing wildlife casualties. The Brazilian government, acknowledging the connection to climate change, has declared a state of emergency in more than 20 cities, including Manus, rivers vital to the lives of approximately 30 million people have dried up, leaving remote jungle villages stranded. Communities that once thrived on these rivers for sustenance and transportation now depend on airdrop supplies for food, medicine and water. Additionally, a concerning phenomenon has emerged, an unusual high number of dead fish and river dolphins, locally known as boto, are washing ashore, possibly due to the scorching heat wave and drought. Indigenous groups heavily reliant on rivers for their livelihoods are suffering immensely. Despite the government's humanitarian efforts, these communities demand urgent action, pressing for a climate emergency declaration to mitigate the worsening crisis. In a tragic incident at Gambit High School in the Arias, France, a French language teacher was killed and two others, another teacher and a security guard, were seriously injured in a knife attack around 11 a.m. local time. The attacker, a man in his 20s of Chechen origin, known for radical Islam involvement, has been arrested. Reports suggest he was a former pupil at the school. The attack, unrelated to the Middle East tension, occurred amid heightening anxiety in France's Muslim and Jewish communities due to the Israel-Hamas conflict. This incident eerily echoes the 2018 murder of teacher Samuel Patti near Paris. Patti's killer, 18-year-old Abdullah Anzoro, a Russian Muslim refugee, was promptly shot dead by police. The country remains on edge, grappling with the tragedy and concerns over school safety. This brings us to the end of the regional and global news coverage. Up next is the 3D weather forecast. Safety V2 headline news for this Friday evening. As we take our leave, we invite you to follow us on Facebook and YouTube. 
We will be off for the weekend, but you can tune in on Monday at 7 p.m. for more news. Until then, please take care of yourself and each other, and do have a wonderful weekend.